Welcome back, it's me, Lou. Okay, so today's video, it's gonna be kind of like a short PSA. Um, so if you watched my previous review on Valkyrie, at one point in time when I was going through the articulation, um, her left shoulder was like stuck. Uh, this piece here, it wouldn't do this. You know, so with the articulation on Valkyrie, her arms rotate, and then there's also the joint here, which allows for the arm to go upward. Now, on my figure, if you watched the video, this was stuck. And then a couple of times in the video, I'd try actually like moving this upward, you know, trying to loosen the joint. And it wasn't, it wasn't working for me. It works now, as you can see right there. Um, trying to be, I'm trying to be careful about this because I just actually f glued a piece in. So it does, it does move now, but previously it wouldn't go up like this. And then I tried a couple of times, and at one point I tried forcing it, and that was a big mistake um, because after I was done filming the video, I submerged this in boiling water, and I popped this arm off. And what I saw was that, so heating this joint up did eventually loosen this arm, so it could like go, it could go, it could do this now. And I can't do it right now just because I kind of, it's, it's, this piece here is actually glued and it's holding in place. So what happened was when I tried forcing it, let's get this into focus. So there's this mushroom peg uh, right here. And this mushroom peg plugs into the socket of the arm. And when I was trying to force the arm to move, I ended up tearing uh, this mushroom peg halfway off. It didn't pull off completely, but it tore halfway through. And this is an issue I've had previously with, you know, this is a common problem across other toy lines. For example, if you collected the old Mattel DC Classics figures, you know, a lot of time there'd be stuck joints and they use such short mushroom pegs that they're not, it's, the plastic quality is not very durable either and it's prone to tearing. So if there's a stuck joint and if you try to force it, it'll tear. Such was the case here. And then I, I, it tore halfway across. And luckily it didn't tear all the way through. So in order to fix that problem, um, I married the pieces back together with super glue. And what I also did was, if you look close enough, you'll, you'll notice there's a hint of metal right in the middle, right there. And that's actually a small tiny piece of paper clip that I cut I uh, cut off. So what I did was I took, um, I heated this up, took a, uh, a, a thumbtack and I pushed in to drill out a hole. And then I took the little piece of paper clip in and I pinned it into the arm. Uh, the paper clip is long enough, just exactly long enough to connect the mushroom peg back to the arm, but not too long that it'll, it'll hit the, the articulated joint right there. So right now the glue is setting and the pin is holding the mushroom peg back in place, which should be a strong enough um, fix so that once this arm's back in place, it's not going to rip the mushroom peg off. So yeah, it's just a quick announcement. You know, if you ever run into a stuck joint, don't force it because these plastics, they're not as strong as you think they are. Uh, especially these softer ones, they're very prone to just like tearing. And it's a problem that's, you know, it's not, it's not super common, but if you run into like a stuck joint, you know, this word of caution, you know, don't force it. You'll, chances are half the time you'll end up breaking it. So just heat it up and pop it off. You know, lucky for me, I didn't get too nuts with it. I was kind of surprised because when I was trying to move this arm upwards, I wasn't trying to put as much pressure on this part as I was up here. So, you know, since this was stuck, when I try forcing the arm up by this, it ends up just, you know, bending this, which tears the peg. So just word of caution, stuck joints, you know, heat or boil it, you know, as long as you can pop it off. And for me, the simple fix was this, you know, super gluing the broken piece back on and um, using a, uh, a paper clip as a pin. You know, lucky for me, it didn't, shear this off completely if it did um, chances are i'd probably just replace the mushroom peg altogether with maybe a small screw but yeah i just want to share that with you because I, I know every now and then you know people run into issues like this and 
if you're not a customizer or if you don't know how to fix a figure, it could be very frustrating. You know, the last thing you want to do is go out and buy another toy. And in this case, you know, this was an easy fix. You know, this is a $25 figure. Again, it really hurts when you spend that much on a toy and the quality control isn't the greatest. You know, there's no reason why this joint should have been stuck to begin with. But, you know, the defects do happen. And I don't know, I just, <laughs> I guess I just lost on that gamble. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, so once this glue sets, I'm probably going to give it a couple of hours. I'll heat this back up and pop this back on. And hopefully it'll be, you know, everything will be all right. I don't have to worry about this too much about either shearing off or tearing off just because of the super glue and uh, the pin I'm using. And the super glue I'm using is actually Gorilla Glue. Um, it's the super gel. Uh, for me, I've had a lot of success using that, especially with softer plastics. It doesn't necessarily fuse them together, but the bond is normally really, really well done, and it's, it's really strong. So for a lot of my fixes, I end up just using uh, Gorilla Glue, but uh, the gel, the gel kind. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, good luck with your toy collecting. I hope you don't run into any, as many <laughs> quality control issues like I always seem to uh, run into. All right, I'll talk to you later. Later.